What's up y'all, Eek with the East Coast Ken, and today we are merging onto Interstate 40 and headed to Raleigh. Wonder why, I'll show you when we get there. That's right guys, we're gonna hit up Northern Tool. I beat the GPS by 31 minutes, I was getting it. So let's go inside and see how much trouble we can get into, because I got three and a half hours till my wife's flight lands. All right, guys, sorry about the voiceover, but they were playing copyrighted music in the store. So they have these toolboxes right here that are very similar. They're the Irontron, very similar to U.S. General. Uh, this is, what, a four-drawer cart. And then they have this slide top little roll cart, which I thought that was actually pretty cool. I've never seen anything like that at Harbor Freight, so nice little addition. And here they have their Strongman. I don't know if this is a house brand or not, but what these remind me of are like the cobalt or even a cheaper version of some of the craftsman boxes that you can get not quite as built as well as the husky ones from home depot so another option for full-size toolboxes there these jacks um i think they're overpriced for most of them go ahead and save your time save your money Go down, talk to Santa Dale, and check out Harbor Freight's Daytona line. Shop presses, guys. Um, this is a 12-ton. Not bad for 200 This one right here is a 50-ton press for $2,600. That blows my mind. This cabinet is something that I would find at like Lowe's in their back section. Um, it's, it's not built very well. It, it's cheap flimsy steel um but the drawers are pretty stiff as you can tell right here so i i don't know i i don't have any real experience with this so i can't say now this is one of the reasons why i went here i was looking for auto body tools and these are the porta powers and this is something that i am in the market for with being in the auto body collision repair field so i need to get one i'm going to check out their reviews i'm going to check out some videos on these and I'm going to compare them to some other ones that I'm looking at. And then I'll kind of make my decision so I can always order it online or drive back to Raleigh and pick it up if it's something that I decide that I want to get for myself. All right. Now, this thing right here, this is one of the little flexible magnetics. And I picked it up and that went home with me. So here they have the Ernst socket rail systems. Hands down, my favorite. I've got the Tekton version that came with my sockets. This is the best bang for your money, and it is my favorite with the lockable sockets on it. All right, now Clutch is their house brand for sure. It comes with a lifetime guarantee, guys. I mean, that rivals, you know, Harbor Freight, uh, some of the tool trucks, you know, lifetime warranty is a lifetime warranty. So this, I think I have no real experience with it. I do have one socket from them that I bought for my go-karts. I think it's a very viable option for somebody looking to get into a new set of tools. So here they have some gear wrench, is uh, ratcheting wrenches. You know, that's another option that they offer is gear wrench. And then here you see the Milwaukee lineup. So they do have some name brand stuff as well within the store. And there's some more gear wrench stuff that was on like a little table end cap type deal. And over here, you know, $4.99 for it. Now they've got the gear wrench players, you know, $9.99. You could pick that up while you're there. This little seven piece nylon pry bar tool set. It's for auto body type stuff, but I wouldn't trust it. Now, they do have some default, I mean, DeWalt products there as well. So, you know, if you're looking for that or you're already in that lineup, that's another option for some place to go. Check the sales ads, that type of stuff if you're in the market for something new. They do have a bunch of power tools, AirCat, and then their, I believe, clutch line. And I was looking for stuff, so I checked out the IR because I am a huge Ingersoll Rand fan. And, you know, there's just some of the prices that they have on the stuff. They got a lot to choose from. They even have some of their battery lineup products. You know, another option for you. Like I said, I'm a big IR fan. I'm not too big on their prices, though. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, this inline sander, I have the older model of it. I will probably upgrade to this here in the near future. So, these pry bar sets, 
I need the ladies' foot pry bars right there, but not the regular pry bars, so I passed on that set. All right, they do sell Nipex, Knipex, Knipex, however you want to say it. I'm a Nipex fan. I enjoy the pliers I have from them. So it's good to see that within their house brand of other stuff, the clutch ones, that they do sell some name brand durable quality tools as well. So again, here's some clutch stuff. But right here they have Mayview, the Lady Foot Pry Bar set. I almost bought it, but I don't quite need them that big. I just need them to use for lineup tools. Now they do have compressors. Now this is something that I will be getting into in the future, so we'll skip on this for today. Well, there's another compressor. Um, I need one eventually. I use it every day at work, um, nonstop. So we need. I need to get something that's durable. I'm going to do some research on them, assembled in the USA. So this is a six-ton jack stand for $69.99. I don't remember what the Daytonas go for, but you can look it up and you can see for yourself. Well, guys, all we got was this 27-inch flex magnetic pickup with a claw. All right, guys, so I tried to get one of those little flexible magnets from the Mac dealer, and his response was, oh, yeah, I've got some on order. I'll set one aside for you. And the next week when he came by, I asked him about it. He goes, Oh, I never talked to you about that. I just, I hate that guy. I'm not going to talk bad about him, but he's a pompous asshole. Anyhow, hope you guys like this video. Um, I'm, I just happen to be around this area because um, my wife is flying in from Texas. And I figured, hey, what the heck? Why not stop and check them out? Now, this store was a little smaller than the other one that's on the other side of Raleigh. But they close in about a half hour, so I don't have enough time to get over there. Anyhow, I'm Eek with East Coast Ken. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in two to three weeks.